This video is going to show how to hook up the internal USB for the garage inside of the VIP. Step one is to take the screws out of the top of the lid, four on the front, two on the back, and on each side you'll have an additional five to take out from each side. After that, the lid will pop straight up. We will also want to make sure that the power cable is unplugged from the back of the unit. Now that we got the lid off, what we're going to do is make sure that we get rid of any extra static electricity by touching somewhere on the chassis or the frame to get rid of that. Or in my case, I'm going to use a uh, wrist grounder so that I can work hands free. Um, basically what we have to do is plug in this USB port so that you have access to it from the garage here. To do that we're going to need to free up another USB port on the motherboard and we're going to have to unplug something. So what we're going to unplug is the port that's connected here to the front of the VIP. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow that cable that is plugged into where this port is over to the motherboard where it's connected, um, which is right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to simply pull this um, USB cable straight up and you'll notice that the red portion of the cable was facing the, the, uh, the rear of the, of the uh, VIP. We're going to move this off to the side and we're going to bring in the USB cable from the, where the garage door is connected and we're going to connect it the same way with the red cable towards the rear of the VIP. Be careful not to bend any pins while doing this. We're going to line it up and then push it straight down. The cable should be snugly in there. Now this port is active and you can plug in your iLock in order to use it internally. Now that we have the iLock plugged in to the garage, you can keep it internally mounted or if you have to add licenses, all you have to do is open up the rear garage door on the bottom of the VIP by removing these four screws and popping it out. This way you can keep the lid on the VIP and still add and remove licenses from your iLock.